All right. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. I'm sorry I'm not able to be at announcements this morning because I'm at a literacy conference. I'm learning how to help you read better and be better learners and readers. So I'll be back tomorrow. But I wanted to introduce something today because at about 9.15, the fifth grade students have an assembly and about 9.40, fourth grade students have an assembly talking about pennies for patients in leukemia and lymphoma. So you see a couple diagrams behind me here. And the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society is an organization that focuses on research on cancer and try to find cures for cancer. And this ranges from small young kids all the way up to adults. So you probably know someone that's been affected by cancer in your life, whether it is a young adult or maybe a friend or a relative, and there's all sorts of different types of cancers. But the ones we'll be talking about in the assembly today are particularly our leukemia and lymphoma. And our presenter, her name is Carrie, she'll be in to talk about uh, what those mean more specifically. She'll talk about red blood cells and white blood cells and why it's important to raise money and donate for that good cause. Something we've done the last couple of years. So this is a two week drive and you can see behind me, it's going to start today, February 8th, and go the next two weeks until February 19th. And there are two collection days on the Friday, February 12th, and then Friday, February 19th. So what does this mean for us? Well, it's a good organization, and with funds and with research, and um, patients can get treatment that they need to overcome and fight the battles of cancer. So students, how you can play your part and help out will be to donate um, for the next couple weeks, and that's called the Pennies for Patients Drive. So before you leave school today, you'll receive a couple items. You'll get a paper that talks about what it is, and also you'll receive a box that looks like this. And this is your change box. You can bring to and from school each day. You can empty it out in the classroom container. Each classroom will have a box that looks like this with the classroom name on it. And you'll just collect that throughout the week, and on Friday we will um, have some totals, and then we'll make an announcement on Monday, the following Monday, uh, the classrooms that have the most donated. So um, it could be change, it could be pennies, it can be dollar bills as well. Um, people could write checks if they wanted to, but the preferred method would be um, some coins or some cash so we can keep total here at school. So um, very neat project, something we've done the last couple of years and students have really reached above and beyond and stepped it up as well. And you can see behind me the last couple of years we've had the totals in 2013 and 14. Um, we had over $1,100 raised in two weeks. Uh, you can see last year we had $2,134.65, which was pretty amazing. We almost doubled our total from the previous year. And this year you can see we have a big question mark. So what can we raise this year um, to help out this organization? That is a challenge I have for you. And we talk a lot about reaching above and beyond. And this year's theme has been turn it up. So I want to see if we can turn it up this year, students. Um, whatever you can find, talk to your parents. Whatever you're able to donate would be appreciated. It could be anything from a penny to uh, a few dollars. Every time, the first couple donations. So if you don donate one, you'll at least get a sticker. And I'll have a couple other prizes, too. But something to keep in mind, um, just because we donate doesn't always mean we get something in return, like a sticker or a prize. Um, it's just sometimes it's good to do and help out others that are in need. So for this year, the challenge I have is to raise more than last year. So the classes that um, get the highest totals, uh, they'll get an Olive Garden party. So the class with the highest total will get a whole luncheon provided by Olive Garden, which is one incentive. Also, we have students that raise over $100. The top five students will get a doodle board. Um, I don't have a picture of that, but if you research it, it's a doodle board. It's pretty neat, um, almost like an old Etch-a-Sketch for all the old uh, people out there like myself. Um, but the last challenge I do have for that class that raises the most, and if we beat our total from the previous year, over $2,134, I will have that class shave my head. That's right. Some of those lucky classes will get to shave my head. A couple of chosen students uh, will have to shave my hair. I do love my hair. You know, you might know I, I style it every day. Um, 
but I'm willing to have a class shave my head for this awesome cause. So take the challenge, see if we can raise that much money, and it should be a lot of fun. Have a great day. Make good choices.